This week is all about show me the money on Capitol Hill. We have some really important fundraising numbers that Republicans are looking to hit and Democrats as well by the end of the week. There's not a ton of serious legislating going on this week, so I bet a lot of House members will take a hike across the street to the NRCC and the DCCC where they'll dial for, for dollars, try to get their first quarter totals up so they can prove they're a serious candidate. And also the House Republican March dinner. The biggest fundraising night probably of their year. And it's big for Aaron Schock, the Illinois Republican who's chairing the dinner, who put it together. He himself said he was going to raise at least $2 million for House Republicans, a huge sum for a, a relatively junior member. It, it's not just, you know, in terms of this night, though. For him, he's looking forward, right? Yeah, absolutely. He's looking to become a player in the party, show that he could get the checks, he could dole them out to members of Congress, and that's why this week is incredibly important. But also, if you look at the individual races around the country, this is also a, a key week. I'm sure candidates around the country are going to spend a lot of time on the phone this week raising and dialing for dollars. Because it matters in terms of how competitive they are, in terms of moving forward and advertising, the radios, if they're primarying members. This is kind of that key pinnacle moment where if they don't have the money in the bank, they aren't going to be a serious candidate. And House Democrats had a nice weekend themselves in New York. Absolutely. So the Democratic Party, the DCCC was up there, more than 30 members. Nancy Pelosi was there kind of trying to get lobbyists, companies, others to give to them, which they have kind of a deficit, right? because nobody thinks that Democrats are going to be taking back the House anytime soon. Who wouldn't want to spend a weekend in New York with Nancy Pelosi? <laughs>